Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this morning we are heading over to Goodwill in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I'm gonna see what the shelves look like. I haven't been too thrilled with this thrift store lately and I've been going other places, but we're gonna give it another try, another go, and see what I can find to flip for a profit. Follow along, hit the like and subscribe button. Let's go thrifting. Okay, so the parking lot is looking a little empty, which is a good sign. We never mind that. I have my go out and get what's yours bag all ready to go. This is what the front of the store looks like. And it is really quiet. Maybe everybody is still, still exhausted from 4th of July parties. But I'm gonna get myself inside and see if there's anything good. 4th of July hours, so they were open yesterday, 9 to 5. I don't know if they restock the shelves on holidays. I know they've been having a hard time getting employees. Ooh, look at these carts all organized. They kind of look like new carts. I've never seen so many carts in this Goodwill. Good morning. Okay, good sign right off the bat that the clothing racks are being put out. Good morning. Good morning. Who is this? Patrons of Peace. Don't want that. New racks coming out. Wonder where they're going with those. I'm gonna chase that rack. See if I can find something. Now today I don't think I'm going to be looking at clothing too much. <laughs> Famous last words. But when a new rack comes out, I'd love to see what there is on the rack. What is this little pink, pink thing here? Huh. I'm going to put that in my cart and take a closer look at that. Good morning. Shein. We don't want Shein. This is a Nike, $7. Their prices have gotten really out of control. Let's see what else we can find. Penn State Nittany Lions, simple t-shirt, so we pass on that. What is this one? That's American Eagle. And they've put the rack backwards, making it very hard for me. <laughs> Quick dry, okay, not seeing, oops, anything else. Let's try to get this back on the hanger with one hand. There we go. Good morning. How are you? I love when the store is empty. It's all mine. <laughs> Everything is mine. Okay, quick look at artwork. Oh, I really like this piece. I don't know where this one is made. Let's see what the back says. $6.99. You can see it's got a little bit of foxing. Foxing is the spotting. It's almost like a form of mildew, but I really like the front of that. It reminds me of Ed Hardy. Do we want an Ed Hardy lookalike? I think if that was like four or five dollars, I would have bought that. I'm gonna wait on that. Okay, a tree. Not sure who painted the tree. Looks like it might be signed. This is kind of nice. Mass produced. All right, what else do we see? Let's keep going. Okay, so we are gonna start down the wood aisle. Right out of the gate, I see this tiki planter. Okay, where was this sold? What does that say? $4.99. Oh, Christmas tree shop. Kinda cute though. Let's see what else. We have two kittens playing, figurine. I don't know who that is. All right, but at $3.99, I don't know. I have a lot of cats right now. I might wait on that one. Let's see what else we can find. I'm gonna try to be a little bit pickier, even pickier than I normally am, and see if I can see anything that will bring a high dollar profit. What is this? Oh, a cup and saucer set. Boy, this is pretty. Now, not everything pretty sells. Why did they make the writing so small when I don't have glasses on? Interesting. 
Okay, cup and saucer from China. Mm, I'm gonna say no on this. It is missing a few pieces and it doesn't feel finely made. I have to say the blue green aisle is looking really hopeful. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why. Looks like it's been organized. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. What are these, little, little monkeys or little something with glasses? Creamer, and is this the sugar bowl? That would be a very deep sugar bowl. I think I'm gonna grab these and put these in my cart. Look how adorable. Okay, they are $3 each. And there is the label. Gonna stick those in the cart. Oh, this is catching my attention. Disney mug, $2.99. Okay guys, I'm buying a single mug. <laughs> I will run a comp on it. This is very cool though, it's in good shape. It's got all the villainesses on it. Look how fun is that? Cruella de Vil, very fun. All right, let's put that in the cart. All craziness already. What else do I see? Green glass, but I'm not big on green glass unless it's like really something spectacular. And it's a little figurine, little musicians. Who's putting this out? Okay. I forgot to bring my glasses with me today, so we're gonna be the blind leading the blind, <laughs> meaning me. Let's see what else I can find. More green glass. Okay, I might be going a little bit fast today because I have a lot to do. Oh, this is very fun, I have to say. I wish this was like a hide key. I know when people do this at the beach, it's called something. I don't know what it's called. Leave a comment if you know what that's called when people balance rocks on top of each other. I think there's actually a name to that art form. Okay, these are very pretty. Is this, this is glass. Oh, I really like these. Look how pretty that is. All right, so we have one bowl, a bigger bowl, some cups and saucers. I might go for the cups and saucers. I don't know who's making this. Do I want the green bowl? All right, so we have one, two, three. See if we can do this. And then this one's the creamer. Hmm. So that's no good. Where are the rest of them? I'm gonna, I'm gonna scan the aisle quickly to see if I see any more of these. I don't. Boy, I really liked these for some reason. Could just be like Libby glass or something. So at $2 a piece, four of these would be $8, and then an additional $8 for the cups, and I don't have four cups. So $16, mm, not quite sure. I'm gonna give that thought, but most likely that will be a no because of the amount it'll cost me and that there aren't four cups. Okay, I'm gonna take a run down the games aisle. Roger is not with me today. He is working. His real job. What is that, a puzzle? I think this is a puzzle. Da Vinci's Challenge. The ancient game. Oh, of secret symbols. Interesting. I'm going to look that one up. I've never seen this before, but I'm fairly new to games. All right, I hear a new cart being rolled out. So we're going to pause on the game situation and look at the new cart. Okay, so I wasn't able to film the new cart, you know, digging through that because there were a lot of people. But I did find this little wood stool that I liked very much, very farmhouse. I don't think it'll be horrible to ship. $2.99, so that is a yes. Hopefully I won't be breaking my little, my little Disney cup. These, I just picked up the same ones. I think they were the same ones. It's a little bit of wax residue. Pretty sure these are Pottery Barn, maybe not. Um, I picked up Pottery Barn ones and sold them very quickly. So I'm gonna peel that sticker off. I almost think this is like, let me see if I can do this without ruining it all together. Made in China, so these might not be the Pottery Barn ones. I don't think they are. Hmm. Do I want these $4 a piece? I'm gonna give these thought. This is like a Brutalist style. I really like Brutalist style, but 
I'm gonna judge that not as good quality as the pottery born ones. Okay, two things are catching my attention. This Mary statue, $2.99. It's like chalkware. And even though the painting is like different, I almost like that, but I'm gonna wait on that. A strawberry cookie jar, which I don't wanna ship. Love, Tommy. Tammy? Might be Tammy. Okay, that's almost good. I have to check for cracks. And I'm gonna put this in the cart for a little while and give this thought. Not horrible to ship. And I think it's really well done. So I'm gonna take a look at that. Hopefully I won't break it. Okay, perfect. Okay, I was gonna pass this aisle and this cup, Finland, it's like a two finger cup and your thumb goes here, $2.99, made out of wood. Are there more? <laughs> I always want more. I kind of like this though, for $3. I think I'm gonna put this in the cart. These candlesticks caught my attention right away. They are like hammered pewter, not really, but I kind of like these, $2.99 each. So three, six, nine, oh, they almost feel like they might be a ceramic. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna definitely put these in my cart. I like those very much. Let's grab this third one. Whoops. Sorry, Mr. Beaver, or whatever you are. <laughs> He's cute. Now watch, the candlesticks aren't worth anything, and the stuffed animal I leave behind turns out to be the treasure. Okay, what does this tag say? Let's see if we can gently peel off the Goodwill. Where is this coming from? Uh, I'm not seeing. Taper candle holder. Huh, I'm gonna have to look this up and see what store this came from. But I really like this style. So in the cart it goes. This candle holder is cool. Oh, it's quite heavy. Cast iron. Uh, do I want this? I almost do. Where is the price? $3.99. What do we think, guys? It's very like Spanish something or another, the style of it. Uh, is that a mistake to leave that behind? There's something about it I don't like. I'm gonna wait on that. Okay, I'm not sure if this new cart has been out a while. I think it might have been, but I'm gonna go through it quickly and see if there's anything. Oh, two little, what are these, PSP games. I'm gonna have to look those up because I know nothing, but those look interesting. So this is what the cart is looking like. Kind of have a color theme going on. We'll throw those on. I love stuff like this for my own personal use. Made smart, but they want $3 a piece. Do I need these? I think I'm gonna wait on these. Is that a good deal? Who puts out Made Smart? I am mad. That almost looks like an Ikea product, $6.99 originally. I love when the original store prices on it, so I know if it's a good deal or not. That is not a good deal. All right, so we have pillows, stuffed animals, shoes. Oh, he's super soft. Okay, that's a TY. I'll leave him behind. Who's making the shoes? Aldo. I like Aldo shoes. I used to buy them when I was younger. Oh, Christmas ornaments. Let's take a look at these. They don't look especially old. Very pretty, but I'm not feeling those. I think they're more modern. Okay, what is this? GameStop. Score points, no idea. What is this? Oh, <laughs> again, for my own personal use. Not that I'm cooking these days. Let's see, what else do we see? What is this? Oh, that's to childproof doors and cabinets. Okay, who's making the clock? I kind of like this infinity. Do I need a clock? Hmm. Oh, $1.99. Okay, do I need a clock? Where would I hang this? I almost, almost want to put this... I don't know, where do I want to put this? In my office. I'm going to think about that for $1.99. All right, 
Up, oh, Dr. Seuss. Oh, the places you'll go. Do you want Dr. Seuss? Lots of books. Paw Patrol. You need that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, anybody have knowledge of these statues? No marking, no price. They're just so detailed. Well painted. Look at that face. When you see a face like that, so carefully hand painted. Yeah, the hands are good, right? <laughs> the hands are weird. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but they're actually very good. All right, are you taking them? If you're not gonna take them, I'll take them and I'll take have them, them. sit in my house. All right. Yeah, try describing these. What keywords? My, uh, my husband, I, you know, like that, that would be an issue. Yeah. <laughs> sneak them in. Oh my goodness. All right, well, thanks. I'll keep you posted on how they do. Yeah. All right, this is a crazy cart for sure. Doing the white aisle. My favorite aisle. Sarcasm. $6.99. Very pretty. Damage to the piece. And nobody wants these anymore. They should, though. Think how pretty flowers coming out of that would be. So beautiful. Oh, swizzle sticks we see, but they're plastic. Darn. I was hoping these were glass. Still might be vintage, though. I might take these anyway. $1.99. Look how fun these are. All right. <laughs> we got a little bit of everything today. There's a cat mug that I am not picking up, but let's put it next to the other cat mug for somebody collecting cat mugs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We see more cats. Okay, that is really cute. Oh, my goodness. Like a little creamer with a cat hanging on. Oh, I really like that. All right, I'm leaving it behind. I can't start picking up everything. I've got to discipline myself. Is this Lennox? Yeah, Lennox. There are so many companies that used to sell amazingly well and now just nothing, dead in the water. So always comp your items if you're unsure. After 10 years, I am still running comps every day so that I don't get caught with a lot of things that will never sell. Little kitties, that looks like a Nesco. Okay, I'm probably gonna be very sorry that I don't pick this up, but this is so interesting. Is that a signature there? It is. No, it isn't. It is, it isn't. I don't know what that says. I'm gonna have to take a picture of that and see what it says. Very different looking. It's very like uh, textured, beautiful shape. And I really like that. Not sure what it is. Kurt S. Adler. Kurt Sadler. <laughs> these are pretty. Little stars light up. Do we need these? Yes, we do. This is Capiz shell. I often talk about Capiz shell. Let's see if they're all okay. If I can pop this open. All right. I'll take a look at that. Now, what does Goodwill want for this? Looking for a price. I do not see a price. I'm probably looking right at it. Huh. But I'm going to put that in the cart. I think that's a good one. Okay, I'm very excited for this vase. Now, this could be a big nothing, but the quality of it feels nice in my hand. And I pretty much am thinking this is vintage. So leave a comment down below if you recognize this textured, vintage, bulbous vase. Okay, so today we are gonna do a trunk haul. I did wind up paring down even more than what I showed in the store. And then I found a few more items. So let's do a quick trunk haul. First off, this pair of suede vans off the wall, colorway is just beautiful. 
I did pay $7.47 for these. I'm not sure what these are gonna bring. I do have to clean the suede just a little bit right here, give them a good brushing. I'm expecting these should do well. I'm not sure what year they're from, but I'm gonna look up this tag inside and see if I can get any information, you know, and just find out what the comps are. Next stop, I don't think I showed this, is a bread box, hand painted, and it says bread on it. $6.99, seems to be in really good condition. I will flip this on Facebook Marketplace. I'm guessing about $40 to $45 for it. I think you saw the three candlestick holders. And this is what the bottom looks like. It just says taper candle holder. I don't see a store. Once I peel the Goodwill sticker off, I might be able to get some more information. They are a hammered metal, really nice. I paid $3 a piece, so I'm into it. $9 for the set. There's two large and a small. I'm guessing probably 40 for these, 45 maybe. The Disney mug. I thought this was fantastic. I did not run a comp, so I might have made a mistake, but at $3, it's a mistake that I'm willing to take a chance on. Kurt Adler. These are Christmas lights, decorative novelty lights. I think these might be vintage, and the stars are made out of capiz shell. So very cool, and I paid $1.99 for them. This little farmhouse stool I did show. I believe I paid $3 for it and I might ship this. So I'll have to see, I might keep it because I'm always needing a stool for down in the basement to reach uh, the top shelf of inventory. Right up front is a Pyrex divided dish in the blue snowflake pattern. I paid $5 for it. I'm thinking this is probably gonna bring around the $30 mark. Here are the little bears. They look like they're wearing glasses. I think they're bears. And this is the foil sticker says Lego, L-E-G-O, Japan. Like I said in the store, I'm pretty sure this is a honey pot or a sugar bowl. Not quite sure, and I think he's missing his top. Along with him, the creamer, just adorable. $3 a piece. I'm thinking probably about $25 a piece. Not sure about the one without the top. That might bring a little bit less. Okay, I have no idea what these are. <laughs> I paid $1.99 for them. I chose them because they're so detailed. The face is very well painted. Look at that face. We love a good face. Here she is. Look at those fingernails. I thought these were fantastic. I don't know what these will bring, but for the $4, I said yes to them. Moving them off, I did find this box at the end. I paid $1.99. I believe this is done with a wood burning tool, and I don't think it's antique. I think it's a reproduction. I'm gonna turn this around so you can see the back. This is Flemish Art Company. Now, I believe they've been in business for a very long time. Out of New York, this one has signature of initials on it, and it is a wood box. You know me and my wood boxes. I want all the wood boxes. Opens up, just beautiful, even detailed along the inner lip or the ledge. So at $1.99, how could you say no to a Flemish box? I did show finding this cup, marked Finland. Your fingers fit in, carved from one piece of wood three dollars i love how the box is a dollar 99 and the cup is 2.99 that's crazy uh psp i don't have a lot of knowledge of this stuff 4.99 grand theft auto and when you open it has the disc i did check the disc it seems like it's in decent condition and it's got its paperwork and last up just three pieces of clothing at this store here is marvel studios what if t-shirt that I paid $4.99 for, a pair of men's Hollister shorts or trunks or board shorts, $7.25, and the Eileen Fisher cardigan sweater. All right, guys, that is the haul for today, right in the Goodwill parking lot. Love a good trunk haul. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.